Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here, and we just might be seeing the wreck of the SS Hillary. It's appropriate, I believe, that she was publicly stricken on September 11th, the anniversary of both the attack on the Twin Towers and the Benghazi attack. Ms. Clinton appears to have been at the very least culpable in Benghazi with her inexplicable incompetence and most likely she was actually in cahoots with the terrorists, using her authority to drastically reduce security in Benghazi just prior to the attack. And it turns out that the sponsors of the terrorist attack had donated heavily to the Clinton Foundation. No wonder she destroyed 30,000 emails after they were subpoenaed. Hillary Clinton has committed multiple felonies, has a trail of dead bodies behind her, and laughs at the thought of being brought to justice. Well, maybe the United States Congress is afraid to prosecute the Clinton crime family, but God is not. Millions have prayed for God Almighty to stop Hillary and her despicable plans for the USA, and we may be seeing the judgment of God coming down. The best thing that could happen to the USA right now would be for Hillary to drop out of the presidential race. And you know what? That just might be the first good deed that woman has ever done. Oh, the Democrats would be furious. Doing something that benefits the USA violates every tenet of the Democrat Party. Now, everybody's talking about the video of Hillary collapsing at the 9-11 memorial event. I saw that video and it's clear that she's going downhill fast. Sooner or later, justice always catches up to those who walk the path of unrighteousness. After evaluating the evidence against Clinton, I am convinced that she belongs in a cell in Guantanamo right next to the terrorists that she has been in league with. Huma Abedin, the black-haired, never-smiling Muslim Brotherhood operative who has always been at Clinton's side, has been described as Hillary's advisor. But I suspect that she's more like Hillary's handler. Terrorist nations have donated millions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation, and I suspect that Huma Abedin is there to make sure that Hillary does what the terrorists have paid her to do. And with Hillary collapsing on national television, <laughs> you can bet those terrorists are sweating bullets. They paid dearly to have the next American president in their pocket, just like Mr. Obama. Now, Hillary, they had to bribe because she loves money. Obama, however, has been an ally of the terrorists simply because well, they're his kind of people and they share the same values. So, what's going to happen to Hillary Clinton? Is it possible that God may end her life prior to the election? If that happens, I believe that will be a sign that God may withhold his divine judgment on the USA for a season given us yet a little more time to repent of our national sins and to get back to being a nation under God instead of a nation in rebellion against God. If, however, Hillary recovers and is elected president, then that will be a sign that the hammer of God's judgment is falling on the USA, and righteously so. We have turned our nation into Sodom and Gomorrah slaughtered children by the millions and openly embraced the most violent false religion in the world. Three things that demand justice from heaven on the USA. Now, it grieves me to say that because I love this nation and what the USA has stood for. But when God drops the hammer on a nation or on a corrupt politician, I say, blessed be the name of the Lord. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching and America bless God again.